Good afternoon and welcome to the review of I Gotta Cheat Ability in Another World. And we're on episode three. You know, the first two episodes, the first two episodes of I Gotta Cheat Ability in Another World, our beloved MC Yuya has developed more, day, more, more ways than one. He has developed since the very, very, very first beginning. Everybody who treated him so bad has now seen a development in Yuya more ways than one. Think about it. From a fat dude who get picked on by everyone in his life, the loss of his grandpa, parents disown him. Even let the brother, even let his youngest sibling get his ass kicked and no one don't care. His life has been tortured and nobody give a shit process since day one. But with a new body look, he has adapted more ways than anything. From a real world to isekai and isekai to real world, he has stepped up. Even attending Ose Academy, he has stepped up. I mean, the girls liked him. And speaking of that, his harem grew tremendously. Yeah, in an isekai world, when it comes to isekais, it's always a harem. No question about it. I mean, just look at in another world with my smartphone. That, he got his harem already. And yeah, other, like, Overlord, yeah, you count Overlord, Ayn's got his harem going. But other than that, when we talk about isekais, it's always a harem process. And like this episode, he has got his harem. And, now, and the thing is, we're already on episode three. And he got his harem already. In fact, he got the three main girls in each area, if you think about it. But I'm going to get to that. So, let's get right to the review of I Got a Cheat Ability in Another World. Now, we're on episode three. So, after everything that's been going on for the first two episodes, with a new body change, attending to uh, trying out this elite Olsen Academy, his now development of getting close. Now, back then, again, I'm going to go back and forth with his life. Back then, him getting clothes was too hard for him. They were either burn his clothes, and his life was fucked up. I mean, burn his clothes, rip his clothes. Uh, most of them just sell them because they don't want him to They want him to rot in hell. But with a new body, you know, he, you know, with his clothes all tightened up and everything, it's time to go shopping. Now, he goes out shopping. And every girl is staring at this guy. His harem, you talk about his harem grows strongly. Even the side harems, I call them the side harems. Even the, even the side harems in the mall love this guy. Every girl is liking this guy. You know what it reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of just by looking at that scene? It reminds me of Spider-Man 3, the Tobey Maguire version. If you watch Spider-Man 3 and you saw how... Peter Parker had this, the, the Venom look, the Venom style with his new hair and his all black clothes. And he's walking down the street. Every girl liking him. Every girl's passing by liking Peter, the way he looks, you know, the way he styles and all that stuff. That's like that. So, and then as he trying to decide what clothes to get, you got these two girls just trying to approach him. And he trying to, like, not disrespect them, not to say, okay, you know, trying to be all cool and nonchalant about it. Say, I got a plan, trying to charm the ladies. Now, aside from that, you got this dick of a model who, who don't show up at all, too lazy, and always late to attend, a, to attend a photo shoot. Leaving the precious Mew, the most attractive model in this series, to, like, they need to find a guy. You know what I mean? They need to find a guy to, to do this concept of the whole boyfriend and me concept. Okay. Leave it to the photographer who found Yuya, and then Yuya and uh, me, you know, trying to... I, I get it. Yuya's first time on the camera. I mean, literally trying to... You know, his, his photo shoot was nervous, but I gave him that. I mean, at least he tried. At least he tried, you know, trying to be fitting with the whole boyfriend and being the boyfriend level. And you got me, you, you know, already as a model trying to... Make, be one with the, be be as a couple vibe, you know, exploring the things in the mall, this and that. It was really nice. But the reason why they call this life changes is because right now, him 
working with me on the side, he learns a lot about himself. He learned that buying clothes was hard for him. I mean, think about it. He, he He's not sure he was fit to be a fashion. He wasn't fit to be in fashion. You know what I mean? The clothes he buys and stuff, he feel like he was outclassed. I mean, outcast, you know what I mean? With everyone in the world wearing these fancy clothes and he just wearing whatever clothes they just gave him. You know what I mean? So it was hard for him to to go out and buy clothes. With, but again, they treat him like crap over the years when it comes to clothes. Like, oh, why is he wearing this? Throw this out. You know, it's kind of like how the Cinderella is. You know how Cinderella, when she wear this beautiful gown and the, and the substance just ripped him up? That's what, in some way, like, this is what he's feeling. Now he's all blushing that a girl actually clean on his arms and touches and her chest touching him, you know, he's feeling that, you know, but he had a good time with me and you just on the model. And every girl from every floor, first floor, second floor, third floor of the mall, everybody liking him. But then here comes the dick of a model. Here comes this this dick of a model coming in. He's like, oh, man, I drank yesterday. I had a bad drink. Let's just get this off the way. This silly photo shoot. This guy don't even give a shit about the photo. All he wants to do is just come in late, take take a couple photo shoots, and then leave. He don't give a shit about it. Now, this guy was harassing her. Got her on the wall, just saying, like, just get this off the way. I'm trying to harass this guy. And then you, you're just trying to be all nice. Say, Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, here's the thing. This is, like, this is much different from Chapter 5. Like, this this episode actually covers half of Chapter 5, where um, it took some things out, out, but made sense. It made sense to the chapter. Anyway, anyway, he trying to, he, he, you you trying to be all nice, say, excuse me, excuse me, trying to be all nice. You, the, this model don't give a shit. And then this guy who takes boxing, boxing, quote unquote, he tried to punch you. But with his isekai abilities... With his isekai abilities, he literally dodged it and threw him under the ground. Now, we threw him under the ground. I was proud of him. I was proud of him defending a woman like that. I was proud. Now, everybody was like, when it got silent, everybody was like, what to do? What are they, they going to say? Every girl chill. In fact, in fact, every girl in the mall that sided with the new model, they like, screw him. I like this new brown hair model. I like this guy. I switching over him. It's like it's like from one fan. It's like a fandom, and you switch like, no, fuck this fandom. I'm going to this fandom. So every girl's like, I like this guy now. He's my favorite. Everybody's liking Yuya. Everyone loves Yuya. And now that the other model been exposed for him, like trying to harass her and all that stuff, he finally. I mean, and because of that, he got fresh clothes, fresh Gucci clothes. I mean, clothes that were expensive as hell. I mean, he could have bought them because he could have bought them with all that isekai money. But due to the photographer being nice for him and how he defended her, he got all these fancy clothes. All these clothes. This is like a huge life change for this guy. Again, this is the same Yuya that never even, that, that, this is the same Yuya that, that couldn't even got clothes back then. Back then, he couldn't even buy fancy clothes. He had to wear like what? Him wearing a garbage bag. That's all he got. But in this in this case right now, with a good body and a and helping out others, his life has been changed so dramatically that he got clothes. Clothes! I mean, like, for real. Clothes. Okay. Now, and the thing about this episode. Well, no, 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 no. I will say this. Three episodes, and he got. He's already at his game. Think about this. You got the main girl from the school. He got the main, he got the, yeah, he got the main girl from the student council. He got a, he got a princess and a model. This guy has stepped up his game. In the words of Jaden from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, he got game. And I mean, it's comical. I mean, he got three girls. In the first three episodes, he got three freaking girls. His hair was already growing. Fourth, if you count the girl sitting next to him in episode two. Fourth, if you count the girl sitting next to him, that was that. That's four. But still, though, his hair already grew dramatically. If you count, if you count the four girls 
And if you count the, the side, side girl that's in the mall and in the school, okay, one will argue that, like, it doesn't count or what count. But still, though, three episodes and he already got this harem already built up as much. Then is the last, then when he decided to go back into the, when he decided to go to the Isekai world, he saved the princess again. And you're talking about when you, and when you come when it comes to cliffhangers, cliffhangers are, are always a catch. Cliffhangers will leave us saying what? And just like this ending, it did. I mean, he saved the princess again from goblins and such. And did the princess remember him? And then she said, "Will you marry me?" And then I and like I said, and like how the knights were reacting, they're like what? And that's how it ended. But there's always, when it comes to endings, don't skip the end because there's something happens. So now we go back into the real world where there's an antagonist coming now. This female purple hair antagonist, she wants Yuya. It's just that she sees something in Yuya to a point where she's like, you know what? I need him. Go find him. I want him. And she got that sinister laugh. She got that sinister laugh. So it's like, based on this episode, it, 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 was, it started out so simple where, okay, he just need to buy clothes. It's just simple, hey, I just need to buy clothes because I haven't been shopping. To like, shit happened. Shit hit the fan. Like, like you got a, you got a model who's been a dick trying to harass me and then and he defended her. He defended her. And then you got this an antagonist right now, this female antagonist in the real world, just want Yuya. I mean, I mean, Yuya has been in covers in magazines, and because of that, they want him. Like, I, he, he's gonna have it. Like, Yuya's gonna have antagonists. He's gonna have antagonists in the real world. He's gonna have an antagonist in an isekai world. Like all isekais, you're gonna have an antagonist. Even though you're going to have a harem, there's going to be a catch. There's going to be an antagonist. And like Yuya, he's going to get one. He got one in the real world. He got one in... Well, no. Actually, he got antagonists in the real world with the bullies and the siblings and now this, and now her. To now this guy. And, and, and then he's going to have an Isek, uh, of antagonist in an Isekai world. Either way, his life is going to change great. Not bad, but great. He's, he's outshotted lookingism in some ways in more than one. But overall, this was a nice episode. I mean, we get to see the buildup of Yuya's development as he progresses on with his life. And with another girl added with a, with a hot, sexy model, by the way. He got three girls, and like I said, the one by the desk. Count that as well if you want to. But now, with another antagonist coming in the real... With this, another antagonist that wants Yuya, we'll see where this goes. He's already popular as it is. I mean, first up, just to find his popularity around. around. So we'll see where his life goes from there. So I look forward for next week's episode of Isekai Chi Ability, and I'll see you soon.